morning, Whittier Warriors. I'm Chase, and here with me is... Crystal. Welcome to the fifth edition of the Whittier Morning Tea for Season 2. Ray here to bring you the latest news from D.C.'s very own Whittier Elementary School. You are watching Channel 9 News, where we spill the tea and the news is always piping hot and mm -hmm. real. And now for a breaking news story. <laughs> I'm Bliss. And I'm Guinea. And we're here to bring you some exciting news. That's right, Guinea. It's time to dust off those talents and get ready for Whittier Literacy Night. Oh, I can already feel the excitement in the air, Bliss. The Literacy Committee is hosting their second annual open mic night on Tuesday, November 7th at 4.45 in the gymnasium. And let me tell you, folks, this is not your ordinary open mic night. We're talking about a night filled with incredible performances from our very own Whittier Scholars. That's right, Bless. We want to see our, our poet athletes, singers, storytellers, and dancers take the stage and showcase their amazing talents. And guess what, Guinea? They don't need to be shy about it. We want them to shine like the stars they are. Absolutely, Bless. So if you've got a town that's been itching to be shared, sign up with Ms. Garten before the big event. And families, teachers, and staff, we need you too. Come join us and cheer on DC's most talented scholars at Open Mic Night on Tuesday, November 7th. It's going to be a night filled with laughter, applause, and maybe a few happy tears. Who knows? And speaking of tears, Guinea, how about we share a little something to inspire our fellow Whittier scholars? Oh, I love that idea, Bless. How about we recite a poem by the great Langston Hughes? Perfect. Here it goes. They're out of stardust, earth dust, cloud dust, and splinters of hail. One handful of dream dust, not for sale. That was beautiful. And that's just a taste of what our talented scholars can bring to the stage. Absolutely, Bless. So mark your calendars, Whittier Elementary. Open mic night is happening on Tuesday, November 7th at 445 in the gymnasium. Don't miss out on this incredible opportunity to showcase your talents and support your fellow scholars. We can't wait to see you there, Whittier. Let's make this open mic night one for the books. Until then, stay talented, stay amazing, and keep dreaming big. Hey there, kids. Are you feeling overwhelmed with big emotions? Are you having a tough time dealing with stress? Well, worry no more. We've got the first solution for you. Introducing the ultimate stress busting team. That's right. Each week we'll bring you new and exciting ways to manage stress and difficulty feelings. This week we're starting with calming or relaxation skills. Picture this, you're feeling stressed out and your mind is racing a mile a minute. Take a deep breath and join us on a journey to relaxation. First up, we have the relaxation style of coping. It's all about finding your inner zen. Close your eyes, take a deep breath, and imagine yourself in a peaceful place. Picture fluffy clouds and gentle breeze and the sound of waves crashing on the shore. Ah, can you feel the stress melting away? Next, we have the distraction style of coping. Sometimes you just need to take your mind off things. Grab a coloring book, play your favorite video game, or even dance like nobody's watching. Find something, something that brings you joy and helps you forget about your worries. Now, let's talk about the sens sensory st style of coping. It's all about engaging your senses. Squeeze a stress ball listening to calming music or even try aromatherapy. Surround your, yourself with things that make you feel good and help you relax. And don't forget about the movement style of coping. Get up and get active. Go for a walk, ride your bike, or even do some yoga. Moving your body can do wonders for your mind. Last but not least, we have the prop processing style of coping. Sometimes you just need to talk it out. Find someone you trust, like a friend, a family member, or even a counselor. Share your feelings, express yourself, and let it all out. Remember, 
It's okay to ask for help when you need it. So kids, are you ready to conquer stress and difficult feelings? Join us each week as we explore new coping skills and become stress-busting superheroes. Together we can manage anything! Hello everyone, and welcome to the first episode of Wiley's Wonderful Words of Wisdom for Whittier. Each week, you'll hear from me, Mr. Wiley, about some wonderful things you can do to help make your week a lot better. This week, we'll be talking about winning and losing. Now, we're all winners, but every now and again, something we try, we may lose at. When that happens, I want you guys to keep trying even harder until you turn that loss into a win. And you're always a winner in your heart. Until next week, Mr. Wiley, wonderful words of wisdom. Today's topic will focus on our co-teaching model. You know, here at Whittier, we have a strong co-teaching model that utilizes um, two teachers in the classroom. We just watched a video of you guys uh, co-teaching together. I believe this is Monday. Um, is there anything you want to highlight from the video? Anything that was going on in the video that you want to make sure that the uh, audience was able to catch up or, you know, take it? The way that our class is structured, where I'm working a lot with one on one with students, and that was Mary Cho, and this is more now, excuse me. Um, this is more working in her small group. Um, that kind of happened in the moment as well. I was not planning on working with students one on one, I was planning on doing a whole group review of that story. But once we started the day and we really did that warm up check in and that aggressive monitoring and realized these kids really need that more one on one attention. We then had to pivot, had to, on the fly, just make some changes. So that's kind of like what you're seeing in that moment. Yeah, and the same for my group. So I usually have I the same set of students, um, and then the clip you saw me reading um, the story. So I started asking them questions about the story, and I haven't been in there since the prior week. So I'm like, hold up. We need to go back and read the story just to bring it to the front of their minds. And so in that clip, you see me reading the story just for them to listen and to really get that comprehension. So when we go back to answer the questions, they understand what's going on in the story. It's kind of like practicing, looking out for the support information text, and also looking at the questions first, and then going back into the text. Right, so that's what I was going to say. Have you heard the exciting news? No, what's going on, Guinea? Well, mark your calendars because Whittier Elementary School is hosting the most epic fall festival ever. No way! When is it? It's happening on the night from 3 to 6 p.m. Trust me, you don't want to miss it. Wow, that sounds like a blast! What kind of activities can we expect? Oh, Amina, hold on to your hat because we've got an incredible lineup of fun waiting for us. We've got music, moon bounce, food trucks, face painting, and so much more. That's amazing. But wait, there's more, right? Absolutely. The Whittier Design Makers will be there too, selling their awesome merchandise. Talk about supporting our talented students. I'm sold. How can we get our tickets? It's super easy, Amina. You can purchase your tickets just for $25 from Ms. Jeter in the main office. Or if you're tech savvy, you can use the QR code located on Class Dojo. Perfect. I'll definitely grab my tickets ASAP. This fall festival is going to be the highlight of the season. You bet. So gather your friends, bring, bring your family, and let's have a blast at the Whittier Elementary School's Fall Festival. That's all the news we have for today. Be sure to tune in next week for another edition of the Whittier Morning Tea. We're going to be spilling the tea and the news is like piping hot and real. I'm Chase. And I'm Crystal. Signing off. off. Have a peaceful and productive day and do it the Whittier Warrior way. And remember, if, if trouble, trouble finds you, find the nearest the dog. If, if trouble finds you, find the nearest the dog. Thank you. <laughs>